So the first step is going to be to assign our, put our spine label on. So we have to double check and make sure that the spine label we affix matches the one on the cover slip. When we apply them, we're going to put them about one centimeter up from the bottom. And for starters, just use your fingers to make sure you have a good seal. After the spine label's on, it's time for a label protector. So cut an appropriate amount of our label protector off the roll, enough to wrap around both sides of the book a little bit. Cut it. Remove the backing. Apply it over our spine label. And at this point, we're going to use a bone folder to make sure it's really on there. The bone folder will help us get rid of any creases or air bubbles and make sure the spine label is not going anywhere. For items that are thin and don't have a real spine, we're going to put our spine label right in the lower left corner of the book. And again, we're going to put a label protector over it. So just cut a small piece, just enough to go over the label. Put it on. And use our bone folder to smooth it out. Once an item has been labeled, it's time for stamping and crimping. So we're going to stamp our books with two different stamps. We're going to put a blue UBCIC Resource Center stamp on the side pages of the book. So whether we're using the self-inking stamp or the hand stamp, we're just going to get some ink on it here. And we're going to hold our book firmly so the pages don't move. And then just apply your stamp slowly and evenly. Hopefully you'll get a good one. And there we go. For small items like this, obviously we're not going to be able to stamp with the blue stamp, but we'll just use the red stamp on the inside. In addition to the side page stamp, we're also going to stamp on books longer than 50 pages. We will stamp page 69, and on books shorter than 50 pages, we will stamp page 19. So for these items, try to find a clear area not to obscure any text and we're going to use our red self-inking UBCIC logo stamp and just give it a go. I did obscure a little bit of text on this one but that's not that bad. So this is on page 69. This is a longer book and on this little guy we're going to do page 19. The UBCIC was founded in 1969 which is why we use these pages. In addition to stamping the books with the UBCIC logo, we're also going to use our embosser to crimp them. So at the beginning of the book, find a page that hopefully won't obscure any text. Typically there might be a fly leaf. This one has this cool picture of this guy, so I don't really want to crimp over that. And I'd also like to avoid crimping over this image, but luckily we've got a nice blank page right here, so I'm going to emboss our logo onto this page right here. It's helpful to find a book that's about the same height to put the embosser on so you're at the same level. But then just insert your page, make sure you're lined up and sitting straight, and give it a crimp. And there we have the UBCIC logo emblazoned into the book. So in addition to the spine label protector, we're also going to put a clear label protector over the barcode label. So for that, just grab your label protector either off one of these sheets or off the roll. Center it over the barcode and bone it down with the bone folder.